In recognition of International Women's Day, Samira Ahmed gave a keynote speech at the John Lennon Arts Building about gender equality. As part of the LJMU Athena Lecture Series, the BBC presenter celebrated difficult women, those who were not afraid to ask questions whilst challenging preconceptions of women in society. The heart of the discussion was about closing the gender pay gap and having more decision-making roles for women in male-dominated institutions. While a lot has been said about the issue, what has actually been done to tackle it? A lot of what I feel is just reminding people that what they see isn't necessarily impartial and neutral. It reflects, um, it reflects who's in the privileged position of those jobs. And, and that's so important. Speaking to a panel of student journalists in a packed out lecture theatre, Samira discussed what role a journalist can play and should play. I am a journalist and, I'm, and I'll be the first to admit my job is not to um, tell you what to do. Um, but my job is to raise questions where stuff isn't right. So I would say the first thing is, as citizens, um, as much as, as a journalist, you know, we should all be asking questions when something isn't right. She impressed her audience on the power of unity using the rise and fall of disgraced ex-journalist Toby Young as an example. I think it's very interesting that Toby Young, you know, um, I've been following his case with fascination, you know, who'd been appointed to this important role in this new student um, sort of regulatory government body, got dropped because of the level of public protest over the fact that he'd clearly had been privileged and he had a terrible record in social media and, and in his personal life of how he spoke about women. For young journalists looking to stamp their mark on the industry, Samira encourages them to keep striving to overcome those boundaries. I think there's issues about confidence and I think as I was saying, you know, women tend to be labelled difficult if they assert themselves. So part of it is maybe just getting over that fear and accepting that, you know, if, if there are people who are going to label you bossy, and some women label other women bossy, don't they? Um, you're never going to win them over by being compliant and sweet. You'll still lose. So you might as well assert yourself. Joe Maud, JMU Journalism.